So how do you buy an ICO coin? These will be different dependent on which coin it is. Okay, so if you superior coin, you buy it pretty much directly from superiorcoin.com. Other ICOs will be different. Like for instance, you may have to pay the founder via PayPal and then they will credit your account once they have received the funds, okay? But essentially it's different from how you normally buy a crypto coin. You normally buy a crypto coin via an exchange, whether it's Bittrex or Poloniex or Kraken. Now, certain currencies only exist on these particular platforms. There are some coins that you can only buy on Kraken that you can't buy on Poloniex or Bittrex and vice versa, it happens with all. But when you're buying an ICO, these can be completely different in terms of the way you buy it. Now, for Superior Coin, they give you this form on the front page. And you basically enter in your Twitter username, you enter in the amount that you want to buy. So I want to buy 3,000 coins today, which will cost me 42 US dollars or 0.0145 Bitcoin. Okay, so now all I do is I just press buy the 3,000 coins and then it will take me to this coin order screen. And it will say to be credited to and it will show me my Twitter handle. Now make sure you get this right, depending on whichever ICO, make sure you get the details right, okay? Because you could be crediting somebody else's Twitter account or somebody else who exists in the world and not yourself, okay? So what it's saying here is I need to pay this amount of money and send it within 15 minutes to this deposit address, okay? So this may seem daunting to you, but it's quite simple if you've got a wallet and I've got the Coinbase wallet. So if I now go back to Coinbase, what I do then is I go to send and request, enter in the amount, I go back to the order screen, I copy the deposit address, I go back to Coinbase, I enter it in there. Now, as you'll probably see, there will be a network fee in some cases, all right? But as long as you make sure that you've got the exact amount that you said you would send to the account to purchase your coins, then there should be absolutely no problem, all right? And so I simply just go to Coinbase. As soon as I make sure, so it ends in a V, it starts with a three. So I just go back there, starts with a three, ends in a V. Okay, so it's correct. Okay, and it's one four five two nine four five one four five two nine four five perfect all done send and then it asks you to confirm you confirm it and then the send is complete now for this particular coin what happens is, is that it actually takes anywhere between 15 minutes to half an hour and then what happens is is that it will then be credited so this will go up to 7.5k of superior coin so that takes you through the process of buying an ICO. It can change dependent on what the coin founders are offering. However, it is a good thing to make sure that you do it through an official wallet. Don't send it from an exchange to the platform, send it via the wallet, okay? So that is how you buy an ICO and I've shown you an instance of me buying an ICO and it will be credited to my Crowdify account in about half an hour. But the thing that you've got to make sure you watch for is when you go back to Coinbase, if you go into your, if you're using Coinbase that is, if we go back to my BTCC wallet, you will see that it says pending here, pending. And if you just click on pending, it will say zero confirmations. Once this has had a few confirmations, that means it's on its way and it will go from being pending to being sent, okay? And I've already done this already a couple of times via Coinbase. So that is how to buy an ICO.